Now, whether you're a Marmoset or Substance Painter, uh, and you see any, uh, like we talked about in Marmoset, you can just load it back up and rebake all your stuff. And Painter, it did a pretty decent bake. You're not able to paint skew maps or anything, but really, um, it's not detracting too much. I'm not overly worried about that. This uh, error right here, this darkened circle right here, is due to another overlapping problem, so I went ahead and fixed that in the UVs. And then if you see anything low res, like, you know, this is a little too low res, maybe around here you want to add some edges. And even this uh, thing in here, I could just use a little bit more resolution. So one easier way to do that, as opposed to going back to ZBrush and subdividing it and cleaning it up, is you can do that directly in Maya. So go ahead and take this low res one here. We're going to duplicate it. I'm going to shift P, to pop it out of here, and I'm going to just uh, hide everything else in here, control H. And very quickly, we can do a mesh tools, crease, and I'm going to go through and crease um, these hard surfaces. Now, we do have hard uh, edges on here, and I kind of want to select them all and crease them, uh, at least as a good start. You can go up here to select, use constraints, So smoothing hard and then uh, change the constraint to all and next. And then when you go in here to your edge mode and you select uh, all the edges in your uh, scene, it'll go ahead and select all of your hard edges. And now on that, uh, once you have that, you can go in here to mesh tools over here to crease and you can just right click and drag and that'll crease all of your hard edges. Alternatively, let's go ahead and uh, change this constraint back to nothing and then uh, close and reset. Uh, another thing you can do is with the UV toolkit, you can go over here to selection constraints and you can say, I want to select my texture borders. So that goes ahead and selects all of your texture borders. So when I click and drag over all of these, it's going to select just my texture borders. Those are highlighted. And then uh, I can go over here to my, again, my mesh tools. And if I have the crease tools, if you middle mouse drag to the left, it'll turn off all your creasing. If you middle mouse to drag to the right, it'll turn it all on. And if you think about that, this is another way where you can go through and divide up your mesh. For example, Let's go ahead and take this outer ring O2 and let's do control one, control one. So we're just isolated on that one. Again, let's go over here to mesh tools and take our crease and uncrease that. So let's say I had on this object here, I have no UVs and I go through here and I go to mesh display, soften hardened edges and I'm gonna do uh, by 35 degrees and hit apply. And that'll go ahead and give me you know, all these hard edges, you can go through manually and you can like, oh, you know what, I want this to be a hard edge, I want this to be a hard edge. And then you can uh, just harden those edges. Shift, right click, soften, harden edge, harden edge as well. You can go ahead and do that. So now you have all of those hard edge marks and then you can go through here. You can go to select, use constraints. Let's go to edge here. So you have edge options, all in next, hard edges. Now all my hard edges are selected. Although now that I think about it, before I do that, I need UVs in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and to go to create Let's do a planar map, that's fine. And then again, go ahead and select all in next, hard edges. And now I can go over here and do, let's turn on texture border, shift X to cut along those, shift right click, unfold, shift right click, orient shell to edges. And then you can go over here and you can lay out. And there you go, you got this uh, all laid out, you got it all cut, and you can go in and uh, Changes however you want. Now you don't. You can turn off this uh, selection constraint to off, and again you can change this constraint back to nothing or close and reset, and then you're back to normal. However, if I want to crease these uh, hard edges, I'll go ahead and do that selection constraint back on, and then select those. However, uh, since we were just playing around with this one, this one I don't really need. What I'm doing is I'm trying to do it non-destructively. So I got this. Let's go Control One here. So we've got this one here, and we've got these. Uh, we got put in our crease edges here. And the reason I'm doing this is because I want to add more resolution, but I've already UV'd it. I don't want to have to re-UV and repack everything again. Uh, and I just want to make these a little bit smoother. So I'm going to go over here to Mesh, Smooth. Go into Object Mode. I'm going to set, uh, set to Face, Unlock Edges. And now all we need to do is just go through and clean this thing up. So I can go through here. I can double-click these edges, Shift, Right-Click, Delete Edge. I can also just grab all of these edges here. Go up here to Mesh tools, crease tool, just uh, middle mouse click left and um, get rid of that. So very quickly you can go through here and you can just get rid of these extraneous edges here along the inside, along these two sides. So bas basically I'm keeping all the roundness parts but I'm getting rid of all, again all these extraneous uh, lines through here just going through and uh, double clicking these edges, shift, right click, delete edge and then you can go in here and do a follow-up with 
your modeling toolkit, and you can go in here and you can do a target weld. And you'll see that my uh, UVs are updating. Oh, that's another thing I need to mention too. When you go and you do your uh, subdivide, go in here to mesh, smooth, to make sure that your UVs update and get nice and rounded, go over here and your vertex boundary, I'm sorry, the UV smoothing, go down here to say preserve edges and corners. That'll allow you to subdivide and get these nice smooth op uh, these smooth curves in your UVs. And like I was saying before, just to like clean up some of this stuff, you can go into vertex, um, right click vertex mode, uh, go into target weld, and then you can just go ahead and just go ahead and clean these things up. And along the bottom here. And realistically, you could go in the face mode. You can hit uh, hold down tab and just drag over these, and you could just delete these. You're never going to see them. Um, so they're really they're just taking up um, space. Uh, so you can just go ahead and delete those if you want. Um, but that's up to you. Anyway, at the end of the day, you'll have something like this, and that can go ahead and replace your original outer ring. If we look at the UVs for these, here's this outer ring low here, and the original outer ring. Same UVs, nothing really changed. You can move this stuff around, and like we mentioned earlier, if you hit W and you go into Vertex, if you did want to just move a vert around, if you double-click this Move, if you turn on uh, Preserve UVs, it'll go ahead and preserve all of your UVs. So you're in good shape. So I'm going to middle mouse click, drag this above Outer Ring Low, go ahead and delete our original Outer Ring Low, replace it with this one, and now when I go to Export and Bake, I'll get a much smoother result. One thing I need to, do need to change is I do need to go in here and uh, just run my uh, script to go ahead and soften uh, the appropriate edges. And while we're in here, let's go ahead and do a quick history freeze transformation reset transformations. And I should probably put in here, whenever you make a change outside of the file, as long as you don't change the material assignments, you can bring in new geometry with new UVs and all of your materials and any of your paint strokes will be applied, reapplied back to your object. All you have to do is go up here to edit, project configuration, Go in here to select, bring in the new mesh, and it'll go through and reapply everything you've done up to this point.